Welcome back, more Lacrimosa of Donna. We just finished off a beast raid and a beast hunt. We went up here to Kathleen and uh, got our orc alchem weapons. Reforged them just a little bit to enhance their abilities. But we have a couple more quests on the bulletin board. We have a test prototype. I'm crafting some something to help fight the primordials, but it needs field testing. We also have prayer to God. A quest from Sister Nia. So first, let's talk to Orin about his test prototype. Having the means to defeat Primordials is a pretty significant milestone, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. Anyway, after talking it with Dogi, I ended up making this. What is this? It's a prototype shoulder guard that I put together using some pretty strong materials. It should help you keep you from bleeding to death. Although your mileage may vary, I want you to test it out for me. Appreciate it. Don't get your hopes up, still a prototype. It's a lot of primordials, I want you to defeat two of them when wearing it. I think that was what he said. That shouldn't be too difficult. But I want to talk to our girl sister Nia. Where are you at? If you're not up here praying, you gotta be down this direction. The reason... I want to do this before we get on with our quests. For a couple reasons. One, because you can never have too many health potions. And two... Oh, where is she? She's somewhere. She's gotta be somewhere. We're gonna find her. The second reason is because I like doing the side quests in this game. If you didn't see when I made a video about it, they just make too much sense. Here she is. What up, Sister Nia? Ah, Adol, thank you for exploring the island. Uh, could you spare a moment? Hmm, what a gorgeous view. Standing here gazing at the sky and ocean makes me feel closer to God. I want to be as close to God as I can when I pray to him. I believe my prayers will reach him from the... Would, I believe my prayers will reach him better at the top of Weathervane Hill. Will you please guide me there? Why not pray here? I could, but I need to be sure of something first. I won't force you to help me, but if you have some spare time, I would appreciate your assistance. I'm ready. Let's do it! The reason, there's the other reason I'm doing this is because... Welcome to an escort mission! Somehow I made it all this way, but now the real trial begins for I must trek to the top of Weathervane Hill. I thank you, Adolf, for your assistance in this endeavor. The reason I'm mentioning it is because it's an escort mission. Of course, enemies are along the way and you're supposed to keep her safe. You don't have to destroy all the enemies, but I believe if they get too close to Sister Nia, she'll just stop. Luckily, I wouldn't consider her too slow compared to other escort missions that you can do. I'll just use an extra move just to get rid of this guy. Maybe if I can get some of the people in the background, too. No, I only knocked out one. That was a bad choice to do it. As the, as the, as the, sh as the ship, what am I talking about? As the quest mentioned, if Adol is defeated or Sister Nia is defeated, that means it's game over. Although I believe Sister Nia can heal you if that's what she just did. The enemies here aren't too strong, but they'll just be a mild annoyance. Finally, I'm able to time that flash guard right on, on his charge move. Come on, Sister Nia, keep it up. Although there's a treasure chest.
Got another note from T, which we know his name is Thanatos Beldeen. I've discovered the remains of several pirates in this island. Near as I can tell, these men are, were marooned here. This intrigued me, so I decided to do a little more research into the matter. Turns out that an infamous pirate came ashore to this island nearly a century ago. Now, if only I could find a clue on how to escape this island. Sister Nia, where are you at? Let's go. Gotta get to the top of this hill. So like every good JRPG, oh come on. Like every good JRPG, they gotta have some kind of tedious quest, and I would say this is one of them. So as much as I love this game, some quests still fall into the realm of, ah, oh, never mind, I keep saying how she's faster, but she's not even following me. They fall under the same categories of, you're gonna do some, you're gonna have some repetition when doing some of these quests. Come on, man. Let's dance. Don't hurt Sister Nia! But you did! And for that, you must die. She's our Jesus friend. The fact that she can heal herself is so clutch. Basically, as long as you don't rush up this whole entire mountain and just leave her to get destroyed by every single monster, you should be good. I'm gonna knock you out. Mom said knock you out. Don't know how my hitbox got all the way that high. Did I? Have I been over here before? Good thing I went to get that revive medicine. That's another extra bottle. And back to Sister Nia. You guys aren't worth my time. I want to get that heal potion. We have the revive medicine. Can never have too much. Let's go, Sister Nia. Look at like her like almost running is like my walking speed. And let's take you out. And let's keep going. Because these guys are going to keep approaching. So just give them a little one of those. Unintentional flash guard, but, you know, hey. That can just happen in this game. Yeah, you ran into a rock. How dumb do you look? And now you're dead. We're almost at the top of the hill, Sister Nia. Come on. You can do it. As I walk, slowly but steadily. Hopefully she falls behind me. Okay, yeah, she does. Whew, whew, what a perilous path. But if I can get, think of this as a trial. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Lime and margarita eat. I I'm terribly sorry, I tripped over my tunic. I placed you in harm's way all because of my clumsiness. I'm here to protect you. I'm sorry, you've been wonderful. I'm Adol, can you avert your gaze for a moment? Alright, it's, it's safe for you to look now. I apologize for my earlier behavior. Now I won't stumble again. Does this mean she's faster? I forget. She seems to be the same speed. I like the rationale, Sister Nia. You won't be tripping over. You won't be tripping over a vest this time. In terms of an escort mission, this one it has been pretty painless. You're already at a high enough level, and you just have to defeat these enemies who really can't do much damage to you. 
So if you do lose to it, I'm sure it'll be kind of sad. Oh! I'm going to get her to go up a little more this direction before I go off the path and explain what else is down in the area. Well, I'm talking like this thing is a joke. I'm getting hit by a lot. A lot, a lot. Sister Nia, pray for me. Come on, come on, come on. Nice flash move. Get some nice lumber. I shouldn't bring Sister Nia there, why not? Fine. Come on, Sister Nia. We're not going down that direction. Come up this way. Let's see if I can go down that way. Nope, can't go down that way. Let's continue up our fun hill. And attack! Only Sister Nia could attack. It'd be a lot easier. Come on, Nia. Let's finish this out. We're almost to the top. Because the AI escorting. Oh! She stopped again. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. That's the easiest way to do it, is that one move. Come on, Sister Nia. Gotta get up this hill. Almost there! And it's time for her to do her praying. Zephyr Hill. What a superb view. Sister Nair, you were with me. Come on. Whew! We're finally here. What a spectacular view. Thank you for escorting me, Adol. Escort missions, man. Happens in every RPG, it seems. Thank you for waiting. We can head back now. You hear the voice of God? Yes, I believe so. Up until now, I've been praying to God to keep everyone safe and help us escape this island. I thought that if I prayed fervently enough, he would lend his divine aid. But after everything that happened with Dr. Kiergaard, two of us are now dead. With those, were those deaths part of God's plan? If so, then I... I'm a devout sister of the church. I must always pray for my celestial master. But I find myself wondering if I should be doing more before I offer up my prayers. No, there's nothing I could have done to save them. And yet... I want to do all that I can as a person before I offer prayers as a sister of the church. By doing this, I think, I think I can be more help to everyone. This is not God's will. Rather, I, this is what I desire for myself. Your conduct has helped me arrive at this realization at all. And for that, I thank you. I didn't do anything. Hmm, you're so humble, Adol. I am still inexperienced, and therefore not as attuned to God's will as I should be. From now on... I will not try to blindly accept whatever fate has in store for me. The reason I wanted to come here was so I could tell God that myself. Now that I've done that, I will take this decision I've made to heart. I hope you will continue to help me walk with the path I've chosen for myself, Adol. We did it! Boom! Another side quest down. Last one was testing Oren's prototype. 
But for that, we have to head out to Jendarm. Might as well head out here. I believe it's this area. Yep, the mid area. If you want to ask me about the end of that side quest, you can take it in a couple perspectives. Sister Nia, in terms of her character, she seems to be inexperienced. Again, she got, when we found her, she was lost in a cave. Just kind of feeding off whatever was in the cave to survive. Nothing necessarily bad, if you want to call it that. But nothing outstanding that would make you seem like she's a good leader or just a good person to be surviving on the island. It seems that she kind of lacks awareness for <laughs> that kind of stuff, if you want to call it that. Oh, what's up, dude? I forgot what this thing is. Mishi! Hey, I've seen this weirdo before. This creature. Really? I actually don't know what this creature is. I'm wondering if it's like a thing for the Yi series, just like how Moogles are for Kingdom Hearts. And I think Final Fantasy. Yeah, Final Fantasy. Recognizes cute ears, tail, and faith. Based from our father's old research. It's an elusive creature, but it appears brings joy to whoever it meets. It's called a Mishi. Aw, he's hungry. Sick of eating fish and fruit. You can understand it. Just a teensy bit. We'll give it a cooked meal. I'd love to try it. Let's cook him something to eat. I have food for you. What are you going to give me? Fine, I'll give you more food. Just like Shoebill. Giving Shoebill all the different fish. So, crew berries to start. I feel like I can give him more stuff. Yeah, you're still hungry, I know. Cold familiar. Ripe coconut? Ah. Eh. Come on, give me something more. I gotta go back to talking about Sister Nia because I just started the conversation. Not really adept to, fight on the, to fit on the island. Well, sorry, I don't have anything else for you. Not really adept to fighting on the island. So she's gotta take a little bit of a pilgrimage. This makes sense for religion, religion pilgrimages, journeys, spiritual quests. Aren't anything new. But her decision was not to let fate just be fate, if you want to... That's the perspective I see it. She doesn't want to just let fate be fate. She wants to have more of an active role. No, don't attack! She wants to have more of an active role in really helping out the village. Before, I believe her attitude was let things be what they are and let divine will be divine will. But it's a little different now. Now I gotta get worried about if I can take damage, because this damage will stick with me. <laughs> Before I had everything be healed up on on its own. I'm not scared of primordial Hello! Yeah, let's keep going. I almost rolled into him, actually. <laughs> well, this might not even be necessary, I don't really care. Any extra experience is good. You're dead. Got a Saurian scale. Now that's interesting. Do you want to know why that's so interesting? That's our first... So if you remember, when we played as Donna, they called them Saurians. What we're calling Primordials, they're calling Saurians. So we're now able to damage... Well, I just kill this freaking Scorpion. We're finally able to damage Primordials, but what we get out of them is a Saurian Scale. What does that mean? 
seems to be there's more there's more of a relationship between Saurians and Primordials than before that I was very cleverly hinting at. Crazy, right? It's gonna come full circle. Ah, another damn scorpion. Take the Tektite Ore. I don't even think I want to fight you. Take the Strange Mass and I'm running. I'm running! We're pretty high up. If you look down, you see all the jungle on the island. Ooh, I got a flash move. Might as well go crazy. I hear you, Sahad. Man, I nearly wet myself. Well, that's not good. You should check that out. Quiet, Sahad. <laughs> like, calm your crap. No, he's not dead. Now he's dead. Well, where's the treasure? I want the treasure. I found the treasure. It's a nice ripe mango. Mango! Ooh, that was a nice attack. Got the flash guard. Ooh, we still trekking. We still trekking. I guess I'll touch on it more because I'm not, there's not much to mention just because of the fact that we're climbing the mountain and we're going up the switchbacks. Sister Nia's character, we basically did everything with her if I remember correctly. Is Sister Nia's here approval maxed out? Not yet. So there's still something else that we can do with Sister Nia. But not much else more. Certain characters don't have that much depth, which is nice because they're just inhabitants of your village, basically. You don't need every character to have some crazy backstory. Sister Nia was just, I'm gonna pray. I'm on a ship. Now I'm stranded on a deserted island. Let's take responsibility and help everyone out. Nothing crazy, but at least it gets you to care about her. So I appreciate the thought. Ooh, nice stabby stab. Um, nothing. Ooh, I'm not getting hit by that tail. That would be bad. I hit it by the barrel roll. I don't want to fight him just because I want to continue. Because you're about to hit a certain area. Ooh, that was a nice leap. So a certain area coming up here. Yeah, Primordial. Pterosaur. No, get the leaf. Get the leaf. Part of exploring. Oh, you can see the village from up here. Where is it? It's somewhere up there. Oh well, don't care enough to look it up. Nice little traps that Loxia, not Loxia, Rakota set. Do a little hop, skip, and a jump. Come on, we're almost at the top. We gotta get to the top, gotta get to the exclamation point. Did I get a leaf? I did get the leaf. Got the leaf, now I can continue. Again, you can see, you'll can you see why in a second that I'm doing this. That I'm skipping everyone. No, stop that. Warm Lumber, I think that's new. Because we hit the save point, and we hit the bridge, and there's... Oh my gosh, look at what's all that over there. This was our side of the island, but now we hit to the top where we have another half, and we have the save point. So before we do this next boss fight... I'll see you in the next episode.